and more and more and more and more. Amen. Amen. I want to finish up a few of these scriptures that we dropped off on Sunday. Amen. Which I picked up off of uh, Selena's message from Friday, walking by faith and not by sight. Amen. Amen. What type of walk are you walking? Are you walking by what you see? Or are you really walking by faith? It's a good question to ask yourself. Yeah. Am I walking by what I see? Or am I really walking by what I believe? Where is my faith? What am I doing with my faith? Yeah. Amen. 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 Jumping down, I think we... Uh, stopped, I'm not sure, probably on Romans, I think, but let's just back up to Colossians, just from here. Amen, because uh, we really need to take it serious and work with this. Amen. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God, and I am a born-again believer. So if I'm a born-again believer, I have a union with Christ. Yeah. I am one with Christ. So, therefore, do I lack anything? No. 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 For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a what? God. In, in, in a human body. The fullness of God in a human body. You're living in a what? Human body. Y'all don't want to talk. Y'all sleep. A human body. So let y'all go home. No, sir. Yes, sir. You're living in a human body. Yeah. You're not your body. Right. Right. You are the spirit yeah. living in a human body. Yeah. So, so if I have become one spirit, according to First Corinthians six seventeen, with God, and then Romans chapter eight, uh, what is it, uh, fifteen, His spirit joined with our spirit, and we two become one spirit. Yeah. We have not received the spirit of being to fear or to be in bondage but we now cry out of father 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 because we because we have become one spirit we've been reunited with God and the Bible tells us that we 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 go and we draw other people back to God yeah. this is the whole Amen. thing about all of this yes. and then he turned around and, and I think the scripture what is it? Uh, uh, somebody pull this up. I mean, it's Second Corinthians two, fifteen. Hallelujah. First Corinthians two, fifteen. Our lives are King a Christ-like fragrance. King King, King, King James. Thanks be unto God. That's the one I want. Is that First Corinthians or Second Corinthians? First Corinthians. Give me that. That's what I want. Yeah. But we are unto God. King James. Yes. Thanks now. Thanks be unto God. Okay, let me let me pull That's it. That's not it. This first Corinthians second. Is um. First Corinthians two fifteen. That's not it. Either. That's not it. Okay, let's read my notes. It's t it's two fourteen. Two. It's fifteen. Somebody getting it wrong. Somebody confused. Okay. <laughs> but he uh, he that is some spiritual two fourteen. Second Corinthians two fourteen. I'm gonna pick it up right here. Now thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ. And make it, watch this here, make it manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Y'all catch that right there. Mm -hmm. We make it manifest of his savor, of his knowledge in every place. People are supposed to know us. They ought to see advancement. They ought to see growth. They ought to see... Uh, success in life. They ought to hear you talk different. They ought to see you walk different. Right. Now watch this. For we are to God here we go. This is good right here. We are to God a sweet savor of Christ. Yeah. Somebody be there for that. 
For we are to God a sweet savor of Christ. See? And then it says, in them that are saved and in them that perish. So it doesn't matter who they are, they are to see Christ on your life. They ought to see, they ought to be able to get a good word out of you. And, and, and not all negative. Then they ought to be able to come and then get help from you. Yeah, yeah. And you're not too knocked out and tired to help. Right. Uh, speak a kind word. I'm yeah. too sleepy. I call me tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I prayed for people and didn't even know I prayed for them. And, and they let me know they got healed. They let me know that door was open for them. And I didn't even know I prayed for them. Wow. I was just a zombie. But but God was still working. Yeah, yeah. Y'all don't catch me. Yeah. But when I but, but when we're caught up in flesh, we're only moved by how we feel. Yeah. Right. And so God can't use us. Right. Right. Oh Lord, don't get me in trouble. Oh, no. See, see, we we we, we move by how we feel or how somebody treat us. Mm -hmm. Then God can manifest this sweet savor through us. Amen. See, we are to to God a sweet savor of Christ Amen. in every place. We manifest Amen. from Christ in every place. Doesn't matter where I am. Amen. Oh, look at that every time you get out your feelings. Get out. Yeah. Get out of your emotions. Uh, glory to God. Shake off that sleep. I'm growing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God wants to use you. Look at me and tell him God wants to use you. He wants to show himself strong through you. But it can only happen through spirit. He that walks in the spirit will what? Not, not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Give me Galatians 5, 16. Uh, glory to God. This is getting good. This is getting good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. King James Version? Uh, yes, I believe. This I say then, walk mm -hmm. in the Spirit. John, between two different sets of notes, y'all. I've been Sorry, doing some good. stuff today. And I'm like, everything is good <laughs> to me. Amen. So I'm jumping two different sets of notes. This I say then, walk in the Spirit. And ye shall not fulfill the and lust. And ye shall not fulfill the tired, lust sleepy, of flesh. tired, lazy, <laughs> negative, good for nothing, worry, stress, depression. We won't fulfill none of that. But watch this. 17 says, for the flesh lusted against the spirit. He wants charge. And God wants charge. Amen. So you got a fight going on. Oh my goodness. Mm. And the spirit against the flesh. Is that what it said? Yes. yes and it said, and these are contrary the one to the other. So that you, watch this, cannot do the things that you would. Wow. He don't want you to accomplish, not flesh. So he war against the spirit because he don't want you to yield to spirit. Because you're going to come out better than ever. If I go with God, hey, come on. Oh if, 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 I, if I crucify this flesh, tell him, listen here, you shut up and talk when I tell you. Because we're going to obey God. We're going to bring every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Not you in control flesh, but I'm in control spirit because I gravitated to God. And I'm one spirit with him. God, I need out of here. I'm going to get this out of my, got to get it out of my own self. Hallelujah. you got a war going on. And he don't want you to win. Flesh don't want you to win. Carnal nature, carnal mind is the enemy against God. It does not want you to win. It wants you mad. It wants you angry. It wants you worried, stressed. He'll, he'll send anything. A dog make him bark at you. It makes you mad. That's <laughs> because why? He know it works. And anything the enemy find on you that he know work, he'll send it to you and keep on sending it. Until you do something about it. Because God said, I live in you. You are not your own. You have been bought with a price. He got you out of the pond and paid ransom for you. God go out my head and I and I'm gonna sit and be good for nothing to him because of this 
And because of that, you walk by faith yes. and yes. not by sight. Hallelujah. Bless you are not in control. I command you to come subject to the yes. Spirit of God in me. Yes. Glory to God. They're warring. They're warring. They're warring. So that you cannot do the thing that you would. Because God knows that you can do it. He knows that you can do it. Oh my goodness. Why? Because he's given you all the tools. All the tools. But if you don't submit yourself to spirit, flesh will get you every time. Oh Lord have mercy. See people are angry and mad all the time. They don't have a happy day. Then misery love company, so they gotta get some more folk angry with them. Because they mad. Ugly folk want you ugly because they ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't want you to do what you would and what God is telling you to do and what God has empowered you to do. He don't want you to do it. He wants you to stay broke. He wants you to stay on the bed for this because you got to always come to him. And my name is Jimmy. I'll take all you give me. You know, he loves that. He don't ever want you to have nothing. He don't, and because you, you don't want to get your faith up into God in you, you stay on the bed and let everybody owe you something. The world owes you something. Nobody owes you nothing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Get out of it. Let it go. Glory to God, take accountability for your own life. Yes, right. Glory to God, I'm going to walk this thing out. i got to walk it out by myself. I, glory to God, God told Gideon, you're going to kill and destroy the Midianites as one man. Hallelujah, he didn't have no help, but he had all the help. Because why? The fullness of God. Yes. <laughs> you got the whole heavenly host yes. backing you up. Glory to God, and he'll get everything you need. I got you. They won't be able to stop you. It looks like you're standing by yourself. But you ain't by yourself. Glory to God. Brother told his his, his army bearer. He he looked around and he saw all the armies out there and looked at them and said, one, two. We ain't going to make it. But he said, Brother turned around and said, there be more. For us and with us in game that are. Watch this. Because you can't see it in the natural. I mean, anything. Under the law. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, y'all didn't hear me. Yeah. You be led of the Spirit. You are not under the law. Mm-hmm. But don't you know you this? You see, you walking by flesh. So, so you're looking for an excuse to stay that way. A person walking from the Spirit. Uh uh-uh, uh, ain't happy, Captain. I know, I know that's right. No, no. Listen here, King. I don't care how big the statue is. We will not bow. Turn up the heat. We will not bow. Led by the Spirit. Glory to God. You're not not going with what they say. You're going with God. God, what's supposed to take place here? The the God that we serve. The God that we live for. Anybody ever, ever got pulled out of some stuff that you know you should have died? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 God be told. Yeah. 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 You should have lost it. Yeah. But you still got it. Yeah. It's still out. Yeah. 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 And God be for us. We're going against the grain. We're going against the grain. Why? Because yeah. we're walking by faith. Yeah. Yes, I do. Amen. You think you're going to be able to afford 
this yet? Yeah. Yes, I came and I already had How you think you're going to make it with the copy being in the shape that it's in? I already made it. Yes, Lord, because I walk yes, by faith. By faith. Huh? I speak things that be not. Amen. I know they already work. I live with my affections from the heavenly realm yes. where Christ yes. is seated yes. at the right hand of the Father. Yes. And I'm seated together with him yes. in heavenly places. Yes. Set your affections. Yes. Somebody spring it. Yes. Then you're sitting behind 
<laughs> Prison bars. And then and, and, and the enemy sitting there laughing at you. All his imps, they laughing and clapping. Got their pom poms. Guns don't kill people, people kill people. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians, did I finish the idea? First Corinthians, four twenty. This is the kingdom. This is the kingdom. Where are you living from? Where are you living from? Ask your neighbor. Where are you? Where are you? They talk real quiet. They don't want me to hear. Kingdom. There ain't no trick question. For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. We're going to have to show him the man act like he couldn't talk and, and that he didn't speak English. Mm -hmm. and the, the man with him, he's doing all this talking and talking and talking and talking and saying all this stuff and stuff and stuff. And then finally the man turned around and said something. <laughs> and he said, why you didn't tell me that you could speak English and that you could talk? He said, I never told you I couldn't. <laughs> you were running your mouth so much. I like to see people run their mouth because that tells me how stupidly crazy they are. So he said, I just watch you. Now I know how crazy you are because of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, that sounds like mm, crazy. <laughs> we do a lot of talk and ain't backing up nothing. They don't realize that gesturing has results. Yeah. And they're not good. Right. He that loves the talk will reap the consequences. The fruit of it. Uh-huh. Proverbs chapter 18 and, and, and 21. See, the kingdom of God is living by God's power. A person living by God's power are careful. Of what he says. Yeah. Right. His yeah. word is few, and the few that he speaks are seasoned yeah. Yeah. with grace. Because I'm not out to harm anyone. I'm here to raise you up. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm here to help. Yeah. I'm here to speak a word into your life that will heal every destruction. Yeah. He's conscious of God. So he bridles his tongue. Yeah, yeah. He's careful of what he says. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm held responsible yeah. for my saying. Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah. Come on, Bishop. People yeah. waiting to die for my judgment. But there are a lot of people suffering that right now. Right. right. They're Amen. suffering it right now. They're reaping harvest right now off of their own words. Right. <sighs> Your words will justify or what? Condemn. Condemn. Yeah. Which one you want? Ooh. They'll raise you up or they'll tear you down. Yes. Speak the one word of life to somebody yeah. that could possibly be having a bad day yeah. right. will raise yeah. right up. Yes. Because oh, their yeah. power in words. Yeah. Right. It's living. From the power of God yes. inside you. Yes, yes. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all. That you would act like according to the power of God. Where? That's in you. It works in you. It works through you. Ephesians 3.20. It works through you. So if I want a good harvest, I got to change my attitude. I got to change the way I talk. I got to change the way I walk. Lord, otherwise... Look, I don't have anyone to blame but myself. Because in the end, you'll look back and wish you would have done it differently. Sometimes, some of us didn't have the opportunity. But in this day, I have an opportunity. I don't have to stay like I was. I have an opportunity. 
doctrine. Why? Because God is speaking in the house. Yeah. And he's telling us how to get out yeah. of whatever predicament you're in. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But are you willing yeah. and obedient mm -hmm. to do what he said? Yeah. Some people say it in here, but then they leave or something else. Some people may. <laughs> But I can change my life. I don't have to remain this way. I don't, whatever that thing is, God will present it. But He can't make you get out of it. He can't make you turn it loose. See, that's, that's what old church, nobody waiting on the Lord. They, they 60, 70, 80, 90 years old, still waiting on the Lord to deliver them. Right there, I told you something was wrong. Mm -hmm. But I understand the law of belief. You can go know how to live. Like we were stuck under the law of Moses. When Jesus came to get them free, they went back to the law of Moses. Said, no, no, that's not what the law says. They want to go back there. They want to stay under the veil. Jesus, look, I don't pull the veil off. You can get out. He ripped it. This, he ripped this it thing has been towed down. That whole altar has been broken up. Yeah. And you still want to go back there? Yeah. You still want to say that? He can't make you. He did the work for you. But you want to walk it out. If I want a different life, I better change my consciousness. I better change my talk. I better change my walk. Because it's idiotic to think doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result is going to do it. It's not. <laughs> I will be the change that I want to see. I will be the change that I want to see. Say it again. I will be the change that I want to see. Say it again. I will be the change that I want to see. Say it again. I will be the change that I want to see. Psalm 37 and 4. Is this all right? It's all right. It's Certainly it is. Hallelujah. Watch this. Take delight in the Lord. Take delight in And he'll what? Give you your desires. Your desires. Got to go in. I got to do it by faith. Got to go against the grain. That's impossible. No, it's not. Nothing is impossible to a believer. Nothing is impossible. Why can't we accomplish this? The disciples ask. Jesus said, if you have no faith, you're walking in unbelief, but you're with me. Say hey, Mom. <laughs> You're walking in unbelief, but you're with Jesus. Y'all still didn't catch it. Sleep with Jesus. Right. Walk with Jesus. Talk with Jesus. Been with Jesus all day, all night. Eat with Jesus. My Lord. 24 7. And I'm in unbelief. My God. I can't perform any miracle signs or wonders. And, and He. Right here, hmm. I'm in unbelief. Talking about Jesus. I sleep with Jesus. I've been with Jesus all day. <laughs> oh, I'm fast and praying. It's accessory. I've been all day. Oh, I'm shedding in. I'm shedding in. And come out of unbelief. Come on. My Lord. Can't cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Go draw that and come out and tell everybody all. <laughs> My God. Have mercy. Am I in him? Or on him? Or just, <laughs> how you doing? Uh, <laughs> how you doing? Uh, <laughs> That's not in him. I love Paul. Interpretation. Acts chapter 17. It is in him that I live. 
yeah. move and, and it exists. And it Not outside of him. In. I didn't because understand that. that right there mm -hmm. wouldn't be fair. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> If I see him right here, it would be fair. Okay. The question was asked to Jesus about his disciples fasting. When your disciples fast, how often do they fast? Jesus said, as long as the master is with them, mm. there is no need for them to say. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Just said it right here. There's no need to fast. Right. Do y'all know what? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the Lord is here. Right here. He's in us. You're in heavenly places. Right. You don't have to fast in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, God. And you ain't talking. Right. <laughs> you repeat what I said. Uh, so I have some of your attention right now. Right. But then that phone clicked. <laughs> My Lord. Now they got you. Right. Uh -huh. And this was choked out. Right. That's why you can't back. Whoever got your head, got your life. Got your life. And if you're wishy washy, mm -hmm. in here, Jesus, out there, mm -hmm. boom, boom, mm -hmm. with the boom, boom, with <laughs> the cum, cum. To walk the To name him. Come on, Bishop. Bo. Bo, Bo. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got. Uh, okay, okay. All right, y'all. Uh, let me get y'all out of here. Let's go. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. And then, yeah, look at your name. That's okay. I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Yeah, if it's bothering you, just repent. Right, yeah. right. Ouch. I'm sorry. Ouch. I'm getting this thing together. I'm getting it right. I'm getting it right. Because it's only for my good. Amen. God always wants the best for you. And he knows no. that you have what yes, it takes. Sir. Remember when we first started receiving families in the church? And a lot of us was flunking, kids was flunking. Mm. And I took it and, and declared against every flunking attitude. Yes, sir. And declared over their life that they were honorable students. They were deanless students. Yes, sir. Every one of them kids, came up. grades came up. Yes, every one of them. Yes, you see what I'm saying? He always, uh, you might be or was a flunky, mm -hmm. but when you hear this language, yeah. you got to know I'm no flunky no more. Yeah. I'm not a failure anymore. Right. God has set the best yeah. Yeah. for me. Yeah. He has already done it. Yeah. Yeah. I got to step into it. Yeah. Yeah. And bring the invisible to the visible. Yeah, man. Amen. Got nothing but love for you. <laughs> <laughs> you are his child. Why would he not want the best? Amen. A real parent. Amen. Parents, if mom and daddy did, always want the best for their kids. Right, right. If you sit around and don't want the best for your kids, something is wrong. Somebody else got your head. Amen. Everything ain't drugs. Right. Losing to drugs. Well, put you in rehab, get you 
straight now so you can get them back. But you lose them to another person that's got you psyched out. Oh, God, pray. Help, Jesus. i got to change this. As God wants the best for me, I want the best for my children. But it's right. God say, yes, you can do something about it because I'm in you. Yeah. And I'm for you. Yeah. Now what are we going to do? Hey. What are we going to do? I hear him right now asking you that question. What are we going to do? You're in power to prosper. Right? Yeah. 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 What are we going to do? Some people scared of y'all. I'm empowered to change my house. I'm empowered to change and shift situations and circumstances. Everything you put your hand to, the Bible says, it's supposed to prosper. Every place your foot step, God says, Joshua chapter 1. Don't go there. Read on your chapter. This is what he told him. And today, your name is that. Yeah. What you gonna do? Hey. <laughs> he said, what we gonna do? <laughs> what we gonna do? Well, you got this stuff I took to God and he turned around and looked at me and said, I gave you the key. What we gonna do? Amen. And have me Scratching my head like, <laughs> but what was happening was I was empowering the enemy right. as opposed to taking a stand against him. Right. Come on now. When the enemy come rushing in like a flood, yes. the spirit of God will raise up a standard yes. against him yes. and shut all of it down. Woo! But I gotta be that one. Come on now. <laughs> here am I. Send me. Come on here. I'll go. Uh, the harvest. This is right. I'm gonna have to quit. I'm gonna have to quit. But the laborers. The harvest. Y'all hear that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then he took them further. Oh, I'm about to push you up a little bit. But it's in there. He said, you wait on certain times and seasons for harvest. But he said, I say that the harvest is here. Now. If you allow the empowerment of God to come on up, I don't care how dry that place is. You just stepped in there and you are shifting that whole way. You are shifting that whole house. You are shifting that whole business. You are shifting that school. You'll sit there and look 
Hallelujah. Why are they going crazy? Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha. yeah. You ain't worried about nothing. Amen. 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 Power of God. Go ahead and run your mouth. <laughs> but you got to be careful. Right. Yeah. He said, you're better off in the depth of the sea mm. with a millstone about your neck than the mess with the least. The least one. Come on here. <laughs> Come on here. The least one. The least I wish somebody said, can't touch this. You can't touch it. Come on now. Touch it. Woo. Woo. Stop looking at everybody else talking about how powerful they are. You're powerful too. Hey. Hey. Amen. I admire the powerfulness because that lets me know that if it work in his life or her life, it work in mine too. Amen. So I admire it yeah. and I take it on. Yeah. Because that right there lets me know it is possible. Yeah. Yeah. Come from nothing to everything. Ooh. It is possible. Yeah. Zero to a hero. Yeah. It is possible. Yeah. That's why you got to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Who you're hanging with. Yeah. Yeah. A zero won't make a hero. Yeah. <laughs> You will see progress if he started as one. Amen. Or if she started as one, you will see that heroism starting to come up. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Thank you, God. Yeah. How you know? Because I was zero. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. I was zero. Come on now. Yeah. She took a chance on me. Yeah. Amen. With my yeah. Amen. shiny clothes. It's all right. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Watch the same clothes over and over and over for that long night. Yeah. <laughs> Living on the street. Oh, God. Took a chance. And let's see what happens. You are empowered. But you got a lot. He can't make it. And your fussing and complaining in the morning, brother, is not going to fix it. Stomping your feet around is not going to fix it. Provoking everything is not going to fix it. I'm going to have to utilize my faith. And let's do this. You can do it. Look at somebody and tell them, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. God has empowered you to. God has empowered you to. You got this. You got this. Now go make a difference. Now go make a difference. Amen. Against God. 
And that is not good. He told Saul before he became Paul, he said, it is hard. He slapped him off his beast. He said, it's hard to kick against the prick. It was just a matter of time. Amen. And he got him out there and slapped him straight off his horse. See, you're taught against God. And you think it's okay. The devil gets you so blinded, he makes you feel it's all right. But it's not. It's not. I don't care where we are, where we position. One blow can make everything go away. Mm -hmm. We can't take nothing for granted. Right. Peter was a great example. He was good because he was focused. But then he turned around and started looking up. And sometimes we'll sit and we'll do that exact same thing. Then we'll look up and then we start singing and wondering why God won't pull us out. Why he's not helping. You stepped off in unbelief and I can only move from your faith. So him getting his attention back to God brought him back up in his faith and it pulled him up out of the water from sinking. That's why it's important to stay focused. Anybody that goes anywhere and accomplishes anything, they get focused and they do not allow distractions. I don't care who you are, they will not allow you a whole lot of stuff could have me distracted. But I refuse to you. Yeah. Yeah. I refuse to you. Yeah. Because I know who got me here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And it wasn't religion. It was taking a stand in God himself. Yeah. Amen. Realize that as he is, so am I in this world. Yeah. I'd rather walk around here with low self-esteem. Walk around as a zero. Don't know who I am. Talking about Jesus. Got the Holy Ghost. And don't have a clue who I am. Get focused. And stay focused. Stop allowing the cares of this outside. Keep getting your attention. You can do this. I can you can do this. Stand up like Paul. I can do all things through Christ who lives in and strengthens me. I can. Glory to God. Get your seat in your hand.